truthfully, I still don't believe it's happened. Candace Marshall says her son was close friends with 20 year old Tevin Geike, who died from multiple stab wounds. He was having a party with my family, went for a walk, and that's the last time we saw him. Last night, the JBLM soldier was out celebrating his release from the military after serving out his contract. He was very, very energetic. He was uh, having fun, not causing no troubles. After leaving a local motel party, Tevin was walking along Pacific Highway Southwest with two other active duty soldiers when someone in a car apparently shouted out a racial slur. It was something about them being white. One of the soldiers yelled back about the suspects disrespecting combat veterans. Five black men got out of the car, surrounded the soldiers, leading to a verbal fight. Lakewood police say when the driver realized the three were in fact combat veterans, he called off his friends, but one of the suspects didn't listen, stabbing the victim. My son believes he's in a nightmare that he'll wake up. The couple says their son rushed to the scene shortly after the stabbing, but his friend was already dead. It's despicable. It is despicable. It's very gut wrenching. This is a military community. Army veteran Tyrone Sherrod did not know the victim, but he is still heartbroken. It's best to turn yourself in now because this whole community in Lakewood and Tacoma is outraged and we're not going to stand for it. And speaking on behalf of those on base, Staff Sergeant James Lawrence says he cannot get over the irony. It's upsetting to see that somebody makes it through a combat tour and then to come home and his own countrymen are that willingly, easily to assault them. Police say the incident is even shocking to them and they won't rest until the five men are caught. That's the saddest part about it all. He died for nothing.